Welcome to our new home on Ebony Island. Uh, we got a little farm area here that we're going to use as our home base. And our goal, you see the trees behind my house there, is to make enough money to buy the land that surrounds our little farm to log it. This is what our farm looks like right now. We actually have decent starting equipment on this map. Um, we got a little harvester, headers for both, trailer, we've got a fertilizer spreader, we have several silos. Uh, this one is for seeds and mineral feed, lime and solid fertilizer. We have our typical grain silo there. Uh, we have a variety of tractors. A small tractor and a couple of medium tractors. We've got everything we need for... Oh, do we have a mower? Oh, yes, we have a mower in there. So we've got everything that we need for grass work already. Uh, including a really nice crone mower. And a bale trailer. And then... Oh, we've got a fuel tank. And we've got... Liquid fertilizer and herbicide. There's two liters in all the silos so far. I bought two liters of everything just so I can look at the silo and tell what it's for until I get used to them. Uh, but yeah, this is it. What you see is what you get. We own out... We own out to the woods. I don't know that we even own like the first trees here. I did see this. We have a collectible. $5,000 collectible. And another $5,000 collectible. So starting off strong with $10,000. I did make a purchase already. I bought a roller because it was on sale. It's actually still at the store. Um, but it was like 70% off, almost 67% off. So I couldn't let that go because we're going to need a roller. I also noticed we don't have a plow or cultivator. We don't have a cedar, so we are going to need a few things to actually get fully up and running. But I figured we'd start um, on this cute little map by buying a piece of land. I'll show you where we are. We're over here. There we are. And yeah, if I pull up farmland, you see, uh, I guess maybe we own a couple trees directly behind the buildings. But that's about it. But I think we'll buy this first um, field just outside of our farm. It's $51,906. We have $93,000. But I believe... Oh, that was the wrong button. It's wheat right now, right? Wheat. And I believe it's ready to harvest. Yeah. So that's wheat ready to harvest. And then I was thinking of also buying a grass field. Which one of these is ready? 190, 191. What's the price on them? 34, 23. So probably the smaller. Because 50. Oh, actually. Ooh, we might be able to just squeeze out that one. And then we could put that grass uh, equipment to use too. Oh, so yeah, let me actually buy the field. That would be great, huh? So we'll buy this one. That leaves us... Yeah, see, that leaves us 41. And that one's 34. This one's definitely a little bit bigger, right? Why does it not tell me how big it is? They are both grass, both ready to harvest. So let's buy this one, because it's obviously a little bit bigger. That's the wrong button. There we go. We'll buy that. And now we are down to $6,954. But we'll jump in one of our tracks. Actually, we'll jump in our harvester. Swap headers. How big is this? This header may or may not fit down the lane. It's a narrow lane to get over there. So let me... I'll attach this one just to get it out of our way. Park this over here in this bay at the end. 
to do to do if I can do it without running into a pole. There we go. Drop that there. Go hook up to this header and go see what this field actually looks like. Should be able to pull it with this, right? Uh, yeah, I think we just got to get way in there. There it is. The hitch is way up under there. But this definitely seems like a, a very nice map. It's got hedges all around the fields. I'm not sure if we can uh, get rid of any of the hedges, like if we want to combine fields. Not 100% on that. We'll have to look into that at some point, I'm sure. Oh, come on, make the corner. Don't hit the pole, make the corner. Oh boy, we are stuck. This is gonna be tight. I'm gonna have to actually start driving well. And I've gotten us stuck. There we go. We'll back right up into the yard. Then we can turn and go. But yeah, right on the other side of this hedge here oh, is our field. Where do we get into it? Down there at the end. Oh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. This rear steering is going to be the death of me. Go ahead. You got to at least start past me. I'm going to have to back down the road so he goes and gets out of our way. Do, 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 do. All right, and off we go. Oh, no, we cannot turn that tight, apparently. Oh, this is going so well. What am I stuck on now, the car? gosh get around just drag it right into a bush here we're leaving that we're leaving you behind we're gonna get the harvester down here I can't even get the harvester out of the bushes there we go we'll get there I'll learn how to drive this thing We're going to back into here. Because what I'll do is go get the... Go get a tractor. Get that out of everybody's way in the middle of the road. And get it turned around so we can pull it off. Yeah, it might have been even harder if I had the header on. I don't know. We'll try to drive back out with the header. See if I can get it stuck on everything again. But we'll go get that header. Get it on the harvester. And get our first bit of grain. This is a nice little tractor. She's got some get up and go. Yes, yes, I know. I'm surprised they're not all honking at me. Uh, what kind of angle are you going to let me hook to this at? There we go. Oh. I was a little closer to it than I thought. There we go. What am I stuck on? Oh, there's a telephone pole there. Light pole. How did I do that? Don't you edge up on me. Don't you. There we go. And we're unhooked. Let's go. I just got to turn this around somewhere. Let's go all the way down to the end. We can take a view of everything. Look how pretty it is out here. All these nice little fields with the hedges surrounding them. There's that big mountain in the distance. Ooh, there's a church. Nice steeple. There's the woods. It's a very pretty map. I 
There's a disused farm down here. We'll just go ahead and turn this right in their yard. I'm sure that nobody that lives here will mind. All right, let's drive down to the harvester. And then we're going to have to get, potentially have to get a, uh, a trailer over here for the grain because I don't know how big the hopper on this harvester is. But we'll find out together. All right, you can park right there for now. Boop. Yeah, see, we might have been able to fit. I actually kind of want to turn this around. That way we're going header first into the field. So let me do this without hitting that header. And we'll pull our mirror out of the way. Get our butt out of the way. Pull the mirror out of the way. There we go. Look, we did it without hitting the header. Back up just a little more. Okay. Pull right into the bush. Right into the shrubbery. Oh. It's just a 70 point turn. It'll be alright. Okay, here we go. I will uh, go ahead and time lapse harvesting this. Uh, let's see what we're set on. Okay, we are set on swath dropping. So I'll go ahead and time lapse harvesting this and I'll get right back with you. Looks like we're probably going to get at least two full hoppers out of this. What do we hold? 4,900 liters. Can I cut through the bush? I can. Okay. Just a little resistance. Not bad. So let's grab one of our tractors here and that trailer over there. We'll get the white one. Why not? They're all Vultras, I noticed. They're nice tractors. It's a nice looking tractor. They look so futuristic because they're smooth and sleek. They're not boxy. And sometimes you like a nice futuristic looking tractor. All right, you should be able to hold grain, right? I'm almost positive this is a grain trailer, yeah. Yes, it'll hold basically everything. Perfect. So we'll get this over there. Empty our grain into it. I'm just trying to think of a list of things that we need to buy. We're going to need to fill this silo over here with some... Uh, I think the one had solid fertilizer in it, right? 
Maybe not. Because that's what we have is a solid fertilizer spreader. So we may need to find the store, but we gotta go to the store at some point anyway to get our roller. Not that we have to do that soon. It'll be a while because we're gonna need, but you don't need a plow right away. We need some sort of cultivator and a cedar for sure. We'll need some fertilizer, seeds. We have the roller. That'll get us going. So we're going to need to make some money back off this field and that grass field to buy the things to get the, this field up and running again. Uh, we can turn this tractor off. I'll turn that one back on, empty it out, and then keep harvesting. Okay, so we got 10,350 liters off of here. And I assume next time, uh, once we plant it and fully fertilize it, make sure there's no weeds or anything, we'll get a little bit better yield. So that's not bad. Let's get this header put on the trailer. Get the harvester put away. And then we'll uh, take a trip. We'll figure out who's going to buy this grain from us. And we'll take a drive and uh, see what the rest of the map looks like. Or some of the rest of the map. And we set it oh, about there. It might be a little too far. Oh, no, it popped. Okay. Turn you off. Let's go put this away. Should be a little easier getting through here with the uh, header pulled by the tractor instead of the harvester. See, I've learned something already. And we got to stay on the left side of the road. Because this must be a UK map. Go ahead and park this header over by the other header. that right there. We'll go park the tractor. Back where we got it from. We are going to have to figure out if we're going to buy a weeder or if we're going to use herbicide on these fields. They're small and so I'm thinking a weeder may be the way to go just because then it's a one-time cost instead of in every season cost, a seasonal or yearly cost. 
think we'll end up saving money in the long run if we get a weeder. And they're like I said, they're small, small fields, so even with the small weeder, it won't take long to do. Not that it would take a whole lot of herbicide either, because they are small fields. I don't know. Something to consider. We have time to think about it. Weigh out the pros and cons. It'll be interesting to see how much we get for this wheat. And then I want to bail up that straw and get that sold as well. See what comes back for that. Because right now we have 6,954. And we do not have what we need to plant uh, plant a new crop. How long do we have? What month is it? It's August now. So we have, what, six months or something almost? No, we have one month. Uh, three months. If we want to plant wheat. I think there's... No, I thought there was an extra thing that came on this map, but it does not look like it. It's all the standard crops. But if we want to keep it wheat, we have until November to make the money. Oh, that was nice that it clicked right to the right tractor. I love it when that happens. Oh, let's see where we're selling this wheat. How much we'll get for it. Do, 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 do. Not a lot. The grain mill, seven... 48. Where are you? Tag place. Do, do, do. Should be flashing, right? Oh, way up there on this little island. Okay, cool. So, we come out, take a right, we'll travel up, take a left across the bridge. Yeah, see, there's the big green thing in the sky telling us where to go. I assume the straw is going to be super cheap. What are we going to get as a price for straw? $90 at the biomass heating plant. Alright. I'm going to... Uh, Right, time lapse the drive over there, and I'll see you when we get there. There was a horse on top of a street lamp back there. But I don't think our tractor is tall enough that if we stood on it, I don't think we would have uh, been able to reach. So let's go ahead and offload this. There we go. That'll work. What are we getting, like... Seven thousand seven hundred and forty-six dollars. Not horrible. Okay. Oh, I think I see another collectible there. Yes, I do. Look at that. Another five thousand dollars. Beautiful. Boy, we might make all our money on collectibles. This is such a pretty map, though. I really like the layout. In the general look and vibe of this map. I probably should have went the other way. Came in one, went out the other. Well, I guess it doesn't much matter. But let's get these back to the shop, back to the farm. We passed a, a church, grocery store. See, there's the horse on the lamp. 
church, grocery store, gas station, bridge. That that's a pretty view right there. Don't you think? With the church in the background. Real pretty. Oh, look, I found another collectible. If I get down there, can we get back up? We're going to find out. Doop. Can I collect you? Oh, I did. Oh, I don't have the thing. Another 5,000. And I guess we fall in the water and... Yeah, we can't get back up there. How oh, are we supposed to get out of here? Oh, that looks steeper than it is. I didn't think we'd be able to walk out, walk up the uh, bank there. Nice. I wonder if there's one on the other side. There is, but up on top. There's collectibles all over this map. This is going to help us. Quite a bit. I don't see any more. Okay. Let's continue on. That'll really help us toward getting started, getting the equipment that we need. So that's awesome. Made more on collectibles than we did on our harvest. Oh, I'm turning onto the wrong side of the road. A lot of traffic. Quaint little village. But I like the hedges. I like the, the stone walls up here around the houses. Like this is, this is a very nice vibe. You know what I mean? This is a nice interior, too. This is a nice tractor. There's the grocery store. Church is right over here. I like the cars that they have in this one, too. There's the gas station. Oh, oh and the dairy. The dairy is right here. Not that plan on having cows on this map, but if we ever do get cows, there's a dairy. But I'll go ahead and get this back to the shop, and I'll see you when we get there. Actually, I'll probably get back to the shop, hook right to the baler, go bale up that straw, because I want to get that done today. Get the straw baled and sold, and then see where we're at for... What do we need? At least, uh, I guess if we did got a direct drill seeder, we wouldn't necessarily need a cultivator right away. So I'll have to look at the price of everything once we get that um, picked up. Where did I get this from? Over here, probably, yeah. Doesn't much matter. We'll just put it wherever. Okay, now turn the other way. And... Parked. Okay, I'm going to hook up to this baler and go bale us some straw.
Okay, well that is the straw baled. We ended up with five bales. The one is a large and then four mediums. So I realized we wouldn't get very many large bales off this little field. Let me go put away the baler. We'll get the bale trailer. Get these picked up. And we'll go figure out where we're going to sell them. I think it was the biomass eating plant. Oh boy, I wish I could drive. That would be excellent. Come on, just keep going. I'm not even near your lane. Please go. You're right in my way. I'll just run you over. I'm bigger than you. Alright. I'll stick the baler over here. How sharp can we cut this? Boop. Just sharp enough, apparently. There we go. Leave that right there. Go back in here. Oh boy. The land that I want to buy eventually. Around the house here. Where are we? We're down here is three quarters of a million dollars to buy all this forest land here but it looks like it's all good tall straight spruce so i think uh it'll be well worth it once we get to that it's gonna take some scrimping and saving to get there and get set up to at least be able to get these fields producing and then uh, and then save our money for that and start a little logging business out of our farm which I don't know I don't know what we'll do with the, the farmland at that point maybe keep farming it and then just do the logging in the off season or oh did not know that okay well i guess we'll make two trips i don't have a front ladder anywhere right do, do, do. let's double check i don't think i do though no but the tractor that i'm in this guy right yes because that one hasn't been used yet 271 horsepower didn't feel like 271 horsepower this is a t255 bursu t series So T255 Versu. You can get a front loader, yes, for fifteen hundred. And then we'd actually have to get the front loader itself, which is several thousand dollars. And then something to pick it up. I was just wondering if it'd be easier to get um, a front loader for the tractor, pick up the one bale, take that on the front, and pick up the other four. But I'm not certain that there's many other applications we would need the front loader for, so it's probably not worth it. All right, where are we taking this? Let's figure that out. I assume you're probably down here somewhere. Nope, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Straw. Biomass heating plant. Okay. Where are you? 
not down here. Oh, it's over on that island as well. Okay, so I'll run this one over, come back, get the other four, bring those over and sell it, and then I'll see you at that point. We got, I think, $1,004 or so for the first bail. Another, what, 2000 from these? 2760 So almost 4000 in bales. Let's just do a quick look around. Looks like this is where the lumber mill is as well. The sawmill. Just want a quick look around and see if there's collectibles around here too. And how much we've been finding them. Just a quick run around since we're already here. See what we see. And they're like, they're going to be in boxes and stuff. The ones I've seen so far have just been basically sitting out. Or you saw. You were there. Oh, there's also a rock crusher over here. A little industry area. I like how it's got the long little driveway to get out here. I don't see anything on the roofs or nothing. Yeah. All right. I'm kind of surprised there's not one back here. But that brings us to 33,466. Um... Before this in-game day is through, I want to mow and wrap bales so we can start making silage to get that sold as well. Because once that ferments and we sell it, see what we have at that point and then what we can afford for equipment. We're not going to do it today because the video is already um, getting a little long. As much as I want to go over there and mow that field right now, I'm going to put that off. We'll do it uh, next time. You know, as long as I don't go pedal to the metal, it makes it so much easier to steer around corners when you're going too fast that you run into stuff. And I just got to try to remember that. Those tight corridors between the fields with the hedges on either side it's going to take a little getting used to maneuvering through there as you could see when i got stuck earlier several times but we'll get there just not the kind of i used to the american maps with big wide open everything 
So this tight little narrow UK map is a bit of a change of pace, but I like it. It's pretty and gives me something to get used to again. But like, yeah, look at that. Like, it's if we can get out of the trees, get out of the trees. There we go. Look how cute this map is. It's quaint, quaint little countryside. I like it. But I'm going to go park this. And then I think we're going to call that a day. And then next time we'll get the other field mode bailed and wrapped. And then start looking at prices of things and see what we're going to um, need to make to buy what we need to get this field going again. You know, I really ought to hook up my steering wheel. It probably would make these narrow areas easier to navigate. As long as I take my time, it's not too challenging. It's all doable, but it's a matter of if I want to take my time. I just want to go quick. I want to get it done now. All right, we'll drop that. Go park this. I'm going to have to be aware when I'm buying equipment to what's going to fit down those uh, lanes to the fields. We can't buy equipment that's too big to get into the field or it's going to be worthless to us. So, yeah, we'll call that a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited for this new series and to explore the rest of this map and see if we can start saving money so we can make our little logging company. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.